So Tost is the nation's favourite healthy eating place. The business has been around for 12 years now. So I set the business up just after university. I was looking for, I guess, a food solution that wasn't out there. Something that I wanted to eat as a guy who is into big portions, as someone who's into healthy eating, and someone who actually wanted food that tasted good. We've always liked to be more innovative, uh, we're always trying to improve. We had a major innovation last year where we became uh, Europe's first cashless food service place. We installed self-serve kiosks where the guests come in, basically choose their food, uh, they order and they pay, and then they go and collect their food. So this took out all of our cashiers, all of our till operators, and all of the cash in the business. Uh, that was a major, major innovation for us. And I guess the problem that that solved was, you know, our, our business is slow. We specialise in healthy, fresh, customisable food made to order. The customisable bit and the made to order bit, you know, that equals slow. It's not like some of our competitors where you just walk in and, and grab the food off the shelves and, and then walk out or where the food's ready and waiting behind you. So what this innovation allowed us to do was we went from having maybe four to six tills. That's allowed us to have 12 to 20 self-serve ordering points so we can process guests much quicker and much more at the same time. It also allowed us to move all of the till operators onto the production line. So actually, uh, rather than serving guests and taking the orders, they're just making food. My number one bit of advice to new startups is to just do it. A lot of people talk about setting up their own business. Definitely when we were leaving university, I was actually going to set up TOS with a friend. Uh, he pulled out, said he wanted to go and work in the city, get a bit of experience. But then life takes hold of you, you know, mortgages, wife, kids, uh, and it's a lot harder, I think, the longer you leave it to actually go off and, and do your own thing. So I think actually take that plunge, do it, do it as early as possible, uh, and then just execute well. You know, we'd all love to sit here and have the next Facebook, you know, the next uh, Snapchat. But actually, if you take any business and you pay attention to detail and you execute it well, you'll be successful. Opinion and report's great. You know, we're up there with some, uh, some real sort of you know, tech giants, uh, some real brands that we admire. And it, it's great for the team because everyone sees this technology that we've rolled out and we've rolled it out really quickly and we've rolled it out into almost all of our shops in, in, in 12 months. But we were working on that for just under two years. We wrote the whole software, the UI, just to make sure that it was right. It was a big team effort in the greenhouse, which is our head office, and it's a testament to the hard work, so it's great. We have a number of projects um, going on in the background. Uh, we are updating our online and app ordering. You know, we, we've launched this really nice, sexy, well-designed interface now and, and, and our guests are used to using that. And our online experience is different, so we want to marry up those two experiences. So that's being redeveloped at the moment. And we've got some other stuff in the background that I'm not going to tell you about. You can expect us to keep on doing what we're doing, you know, uh, continuing to serve the best healthy food um, to our guests. You can expect more shops. So we've got another two shops being opened this summer, so some fantastic locations and just more growth and a lot more fun and a lot more health.